welcome back to learn economia today we are going to discuss the rational expectation theory or we can call it as rational expectation hypothesis or else we can consider it as rational expectations or the concept of rational expectations let's have a look into this the idea of rational expectations is something that could be related to a very famous economist robert lucas and this person is a very renowned figure and he is known for his very much influential contributions to the development of macroeconomic theory and the idea of rational expectation hypothesis has revolutionized the understanding of the economic decision making and this is robert lucas who has contributed to the idea of rational expectations theory or rational expectations hypothesis this person has received his education at the university of chicago and later he had become a professor in that university itself he was awarded the prestigious nobel prize in economic sciences in the year 1995 for his work related to macroeconomic theory and rational expectations what does it mean by the theory of rational expectations actually the theory poses that individual will be forming expectations regarding future and whenever we form expectation regarding our future we use all the available information we will be collecting the possible information and analyze it very rationally so collection of information and analysis of the very same is very important as per this theory people will be making certain predictions they will be making certain decision again by considering the economic environment market conditions their experience and you call all of these as the available information this theory identifies the role of information when it comes to making predictions and decisions and as per lucas individuals are very much forward looking and in this sense these people will be adjusting their behavior in response to the anticipated or expected future events anticipated future events means expectation expected events or expected future what are the implications of the very same theory in our life the theory has got some significant impact and role when it comes to macroeconomic policies and economic outcomes the theory challenges the traditional keynesian theories and also it challenges the various theories which assumes individuals having limited foresight or base the decision on outdated information the theory suggests that there are certain policies which would be taken by the government and the monetary authority and these policies might not have desired impact if they are predictable and people have rational expectations about their consequences this is what we could understand from the theory the theory of rational expectation hypothesis is very much related to another important concept that is efficient market hypothesis the efficient market hypothesis concept tells that the financial market would be quickly as well as accurately reflect all the available information whenever this is being done this will be making these market impossible to consistently outperform by trading on public information again comes the role of information so lucas rational expectation theory is providing a foundation or a base to the efficient market hypothesis this would be helping the individuals to incorporate all the relevant informations so as to make expectations so so as to go for anticipations and this will lead to what is called the efficiency 
and this will make individuals to make efficient outcomes. This will lead to efficient market outcomes. But the theory is not free from criticism. Many individuals, many economists have pointed several drawbacks to this theory. We could see that individuals in certain cases may have bounded rationality as well as they have limited access to information. We could understand the role of information when it comes to rational expectation hypothesis, but what will happen if they have limited access to information? Whenever they have limited access to information, their expectation will not be fully rational. Also, the theory assumes that individual would be having complete knowledge of some economic model. But this is not a realistic situation. Whatever information that we possess regarding a particular uh, aspect will always be incomplete. So, the information that we have is incomplete. Coming to policy implications again, you could see that uh, the policymakers have identified a significant role of rational expectation hypothesis and they could see that this will impact uh, something related to expectations on economic out outcomes. And the theory has also given emphasis to the importance of certain aspects like transparency, credibility, communication, etc. of policy decisions to the public in order to avoid some, um, some unexpected effects or uh, some unexpected behavior of the public. And in short, what we could see is that the rational expectation theory is always identified as a theory which has transformed the way in which many economists have already understood the uh, idea behind economic decision making and by recognizing the forward looking behavior as well as the ability to make such decisions to form rational expectations, the rational expectation hypothesis has challenged the traditional economic models and influenced policy formulation and that is all about the rational expectation hypothesis. Hope you could understand. Thank you for watching. I request you to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more videos. You can be a part of our Telegram community uh, by click, clicking on to the link given in the uh, description box. Also, you can download the Learn Economy app. I will also provide you the link in the description box. That's it. Thank you for watching.